Good afternoon. Uh, hi, I'm Renata Takajira Yamaguchi from the KUU University and I'm located in Yokan City and I just labeled to Tokyo in, in Japan. Well, actually, I am in the field, field of AI research I read for 40 years or more. And, uh, well, I am uh, working uh, about uh, automated reasoning and uh, machine learning data mining and uh, recently uh, for five years and I'm engaged in, in intelligence AI robotics and uh, actually we I have uh, two real practices and the one is uh, TA robot or teaching assistant robot uh, actually TA robot and work uh, at the real elementary school and uh, in, in Tokyo. And the other is uh, Robot Cafe, Robot. And uh, today and I focus on this real case, Robot Cafe. And uh, maybe you see a uh, movie of, uh, for about uh, six or seven minutes. So I hope that uh, you will enjoy my room after. Well, before getting into my uh, talk, uh, Intelligent Robot, well, let me review it. Uh, background and uh, set up my research goals. Uh, as you know so well and the recent, recently well many AI apps and uh, come come up with with us. Gina Watson, IBM and the Quiz AI about eight years ago and uh, Watson and Win were grand grand champion and a uh, TV program called uh, Jeopardy in the United States. And uh, AlphaGo, about three years ago, uh, did mine and developed AlphaGo and uh, win while world ranking first uh, professional player in, in China. And uh, re recently, machine learning, including Deep round, deep round based uh, application. So many uh, AI applications now come up with us. And uh, looking at uh, such uh, uh, deep learning based uh, application, well, most AI applications and uh, well, specific to some task, not to gen not to general and uh, to specific, to some specific, but uh, in, in the uh, given task, some AI and uh, might go over uh, human, ca human capabilities about uh, medical image diagnosis and uh, deep learning and based uh, application uh, performance already go over and uh, doctor and uh, cap capability. But uh, such a uh, specific AI applications has uh, have the same no harmonious interaction with uh, with people. So and uh, I set up I set up with research goal and uh, here three three goals. We should move First, and from some specific AI application to integrate it or and also in, interact with the humans AI application. And the second goal is uh, that we should move from specific AI application to a platform uh, middleware for many to, be, to develop many AI. Applications. And uh, last goal is uh, 
that we should move from AI for just uh, researcher or AI engineers, not only such uh, expert to um, just end users and who uh, want to take the AI applications. Well, from uh, uh, three goals, we uh, for for about five years, I engaged in and uh, platform for end user called Windows, and uh, up, you see an upper part and the uh, ID of Windows. Windows uh, just uh, stands for and practical intelligent applications and uh, Britain has uh, two, two, fi two features where well, from the process development process uh, point where end user not a, not a, a engineer just end user can take uh, Britain's and with uh, natural language interface, Japanese interface, and also English interface. Well, now we have real, two real cases, Robo Cafe and also teaching assistant robots at uh, primary schools. Well, for example, Robo Cafe, they uh, just submit uh, Cafe business processes using uh, such a Japanese interface in Windows. And also, teacher, we have a teacher at the primary school submit how classroom is going uh, using the uh, Japanese interface. And the uh, second point, when from the point of product, were printers and uh, try to uh, develop not specific AI, but uh, unified AI applications. And uh, here it is, here the unification means uh, to in integrate uh, various kinds of human activities, uh, with talk, see, and think in the brain, and run, and uh, move manipulation for the hand and the foot. Well, there are so many elementary intelligent activities, ours, and uh, such elementary intelligent activity that we set up software, intelligent software module, speech dial care about listening, talk, and image sensing care about C, and KBR. KBR means knowledge based reasoning care about the thinking process by humans and the machine learning care about the learning, human learning process and uh, finally motion learning and care about the humans moods and the manipulations. Well I review and the creative future again. Well, from the point of product future, and the creative try to uh, in integrate it. Knowledge based reasoning, speech dialogue, speech sensing, motion control, and uh, machine learning. And uh, from the point of process, develop engineering process, well, and the user care about just uh, submitting work, work and also business processes. And the uh, end user can dis descri describe workflow and business process by natural language, Japanese and English. And after that, Printex automatically transform such uh, business process sequence into software module and uh, sequence. Actually, and uh, in advance, we must uh, set up 
such a soft that would you now and we have 300 or more and uh, built in uh, such intelligent software module and uh, after that such a uh, software module sequence automatically transformed into program code and now and uh, Python in you know, the Python language and Python language is now so very popular in the field of data science and AI and uh, finally we get uh, such a Python code that can run over loss. Loss means robot operating system. And uh, loss is very popular middleware in the field of robotics. And in order to evaluate and how and much well when the green depth goes well, and uh, we do real case lead to a teaching assistant robot. Actually, right here, the real teacher submit uh, how classroom, classroom is going with uh, natural language interface. And uh, after that, and uh, he teach or have a classroom together with and such a human robot and also robot arm. And uh, today, and, uh, we I don't care about this real case, and uh, we, fo we focus on uh, the other real case, Robo Cafe. Well, maybe not today, and uh, talk and uh, care about research topics in the field of AI. And uh, just uh, maybe pick, pick up keyword related with AI, AI research. Uh, about knowledge based reasoning, well, how to develop multiple knowledge bases, and also, uh, second issue is integrate, how to integrate symbol such as uh, language, and also uh, signal, sensing signal. Well, this, this topic is very um, important now in the field of AI, where we call it symbol grounding. Uh, Integrate symbol and signals. And the second field, sub AI, A. Second, AI yes, sub field and spoken language. Well, how to and develop spoken language system and uh, to be with the easy uh, natural language interface. Third AI some field image sensing for semantic based and uh, three dimension object recognition and also uh, augmented reality for and, uh, education. And uh, fourth uh, AI some field is about uh, motion and vision control. And uh, here it's uh, Udon, Japanese noodle, Udon chef robot. And uh, now, when we just now when developing this, this robot, not com com complete. And, uh, and also, mobile robot navigation. As you see in my movie, Great Data, so in the many six or seven robots and uh, go back sometimes and uh, hit you know each other in order to hit each other while dynamic obstacle avoidance so the module and uh, come up with many robots and uh, now and uh, and uh, this is very, how you say, te technical issue. Maybe and, uh, I think and, uh, most uh, people are not in interested in such a uh, well, in information system architecture. But uh, we have, and uh, I wanna point one, I, I wanna say just one point when pre-depth architecture has three layers, well, sub-layer, uh, 
people right now. Workflow right now and business process right now. And end user care about just the two layer. Workflow layer and also process layer and uh, in natural language, English and Japanese. And after that, bottom layer is software module layer and pretext automatically transform such a business process sequence into uh, very fine grain size of software. And after that, and uh, this software module sequence transform automatically transform into uh, Python program, program codes. But you see again, and that uh, tra automatical transformation process for end user submit workflow. So it's uh, Japanese or English. And uh, actually, in advance, we set up a uh, software module, in intelligent software module, while each node and uh, corresponding to some software module and also link connect that and uh, correspond to and other software module. And uh, 300, maybe 10, and uh, all software module already come up with us, but uh, every software module taken different data structure while Obviously, gap, defined the data structure gaps among the software module. And in order to and solve the gaps, and after that, such a Python code automatically generated. But here is the greatest implementation specifications. And uh, now, in uh, 100, uh, thousands rank and uh, line code and uh, about com component and uh, we have now in the 20, 27 workflow related with the robot cafe and uh, teaching assistant robot and uh, 140 business processes related with robot cafe and uh, TA and uh, software module we have in the 310 software module. The detail about software module is right here. Okay. Well, we make a uh, web page and uh, to introduce and uh, read text. Uh, you are every just so simple. Read text and uh, the or G, and, but uh, information is not rich, and uh, uh, now and we in, increase and, uh, in information about the printers project. Okay, that's it about uh, printers architecture, and uh, about uh, four years, and uh, we apply printers and the two real case study global cafe first and the robo cafe owner some and uh, we and uh, well get yeah, some robo cafe owner and uh, he opened in his cafe near Asakusa Sensoji uh, and uh, first and uh, he looked at our uh, robot cafe how our robot cafe is going of course and many differences and uh, between our human uh, waiter and uh, robot and uh, after looking at how to say limitations of the, our robot cafe and uh, he submit robot cafe workflow. Very, how do you say, coarse grain size of the workflow. Fast robot and uh, should uh, well, have 
customer reception at the end at the entrance. Uh, for e e example, Irashaimase and welcome and such a uh, road should say should tell the customer such a uh, welcome and words. And after that, and the robot should uh, guide and uh, customers to available tables. And uh, no one, no, no, no customer and uh, at the tables. Actually, in the first experiment, were robots and cannot understand uh, physical and uh, state and uh, paper, actually paper, and uh, sometimes guide the uh, customer to table already, and uh, another customer sit there. And, uh, but uh, now in uh, this process is uh, okay. And after guiding the customer to table and the paper, try to take order and uh, paper um, send all the information to robot arm and uh, robot arm try to drink uh, robot arm prepare software drink and uh, serving serving means it well uh, another robot carry all the soft um, soft drink and uh, to the table and uh, finally uh, Checking out and uh, seeing off the customer. Please and uh, come in here and uh, paper tell and uh, customer. So, and uh, the end. Well, here is very uh, coarse, not the fine grain size of the business process sequence. So, we shoot uh, here is a snapshot and all the pre depth and uh, screenshot. And the same, the same and business process here. And, in, and here is English version, and also we have Japanese version. Well, looking at the first uh, business process, customer reservation at uh, entrance. This uh, customer reservation entrance process uh, decompose decompose into here well uh, second rate business process it well end user uh, should assign and uh, some robot to uh, uh, every business process right here and uh, paper and uh, human robot paper has been assigned and uh, customer resolution at the entrance process. Well, this process decomposed into uh, six more fine grain size of the process while reading to the customer first and the paper should uh, have greeting to the customer, and the uh, second process, in case of full occupancy, no available seat, no uh, available table, and uh, paper, ask the customers, uh, can you wait here, five minutes or 10, ten, ten minutes, and uh, Usually, customer uh, never neglect, okay, accept and uh, prepare request and uh, take seat up there. And uh, sometimes uh, when it, it rains, well, customer bring umbrella and uh, when and the paper recognize um, uh, umbrella paper tell customer uh, please put your uh, uh, umbrella over the box and after that 
And in the case of uh, the <coughs> customer, green and uh, big luggage, such as suit, suit, suitcase, or paper suit, their customer, please put your big luggage at the end of this room. And uh, in the case of full occupancy, and uh, like here, uh, wait more time. And uh, waiting time is uh, prolonged, ex extend sometimes, and uh, ex ex extend. And uh, uh, for 10 minutes or more, and uh, when the customer wait for 10 minutes or more while pepper and bring menu and robot, please and look at this menu and uh, take into consideration and uh, how to order your soft, soft drink. And at the end. Well, Greeting to customer process uh, also decomposed into such a software module well, sequence. And the end user cannot understand this software module while the AI engineer, just the AI engineer, can understand this software module. Well, so anyway, but that. Automatic printers automatically uh, previous and business process sequence into such a software module, intelligent software module sequence. Okay, so now and, uh, it's time and for you to see movie logo. Yeah, about uh, several eight, eight minutes. Well, actually, one year ago, and uh, we opened Global Cafe at the Keio University Yagami Festival uh, for two days. Actually, 250 or more uh, people visit and this Global Cafe for two days. And six kinds of robots join this Global Cafe while you know, paper. Paper is so very popular here in the country, Japan. And uh, this robot, Toyota robot, uh, we call it this Toyota robot HSR. And uh, Toyota robot carry all that software drink to people. And uh, this robot is very short, just uh, one 30 centi meter and uh, never move and uh, he, ju he just talk and this is uh, uh, soft drink here and da, da, da. and uh, last year and uh, well actually two years ago and uh, 2017 we started global cafe at the university University Festival, and uh, last year, well, software drink cross and the crack, you know, crack, and uh, this robot arm called Jack 2, and try to make uh, whole portable and you uh, using give and uh, picture by this camera. Now you see movie. Uh, here it uh, before you see movie and just uh, all, all overview robot ca cafe. Well, we have uh, six six tables and uh, table one, two, three, four for four persons, and uh, two tab table five and six for just two persons. So in total, 20 persons and uh, take a seat. And uh, you know, you see paper here, and also you see the robot 
eight years old here. And at the end, left hand side, at the end, uh, uh, some, cut, some cut off and uh, robot arm and try to make a uh, crack. And uh, well, here it's uh, maybe and uh, so hard and uh, for you to see back where we call this robot so social robot or well, this robot gather uh, trash <laughs> and, uh, from the table. Uh, and uh, we have uh, the two kitchen, and one kitchen is for soft drink, and the other kitchen for and uh, grape. Okay, next movie or ah uh, just the uh, menu, and the uh, robot cafe menu, and uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, and uh, five kind of soft drink, which is. Strawberry, fresh soda, liquid uh, melon, roasted coffee, and green tea. We robo robo cafe and provide and we uh, provide kind of soft drink. And uh, the other menu is great, uh, decorated, you know, and such. Robo arm trying to make all all the and uh, customers and. and uh, and also, well, ah, here is paid, not, not free, and uh, well, portrait and 600 yen, and uh, heart figure, and uh, star figure, 400 yen, and uh, free, uh, this is free, free, free topic. Okay, so, Robi Kaki has uh, seven, Seven business processes. The first and uh, <laughs> 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 What do you see here? And uh, two robots, and uh, nearly near miss, and uh, almost hit at each other. But uh, each robot has a function of obstacle avoidance, so it never hit.
now we implement the this one. Thank you. Actually, and uh, this fitness project, and uh, uh, we work and uh, together with another another university, and uh, maybe and uh, ten or uh, more faculty join this project. And uh, but uh, actually, this uh, project was funded by JSD, the Japanese Science Technology Foundation, and. Uh, Next year, in March, and this project will be ended. And uh, now we were Carol were patent office. Very interesting in this. And uh, you should get many patents about both Carol. Actually, and the uh, Chinese government also. And, uh, well, Half a ago, and the Chinese government read this article, and uh, in Shanghai City and uh, Alibaba, Alibaba and also Dingo already uh, opened robot restaurant in Shanghai City, but uh, many human staff opened there. But uh, this uh, robot cafe almost, uh, how to say, seven people and join, but uh, multiple robots and uh, collection is a very, very key technology. And the Chinese and the government is interested in uh, this. And I, uh, I had a talk, um, I had a consultation.